you sometimes wish you could leave your home without having to take keys with you? With the new Yale Keyless Digital Lock, you can do just that. The touchscreen pad gives you an easy and convenient way of opening your door. There's no keys, no hassle, no fuss at all. No fuss, all you have to do is remember your own unique PIN number. You can even create a temporary PIN to give other people access to your home when you want to. This code can then easily be deleted without having to worry about collecting keys or changing locks. In this video, we will show you how to retrofit the Yale keyless digital lock onto your timber door. So to begin, put your key into your existing lock, make a note, does it turn left or does it turn right? Next, disassemble your existing night latch by first taking out these two screws and removing your night latch case. Take out all of the screws from the mounting plate and remove. This will enable you to remove the lock from the front of the door at the same time. Remove your existing staple from the door frame. Cut out the template which can be found in the installation guide. Position the template on your door, ensuring you line it up with the existing 32mm hole on your door and mark the central point of where the 15mm hole is to be drilled. Now, using a 15mm timber drill bit, drill this hole. Ensure you drill from both sides of the door, making sure the hole is straight. Place your new Yale digital lock in the hole on the outside of the door with the battery cable through the 15mm hole. Using the ruler on the template, measure 17mm from the door surface and mark the connecting bar, ensuring the bar is horizontal. Remove the lock from the door and carefully cut the connecting bar at the marked point. The projection of the connecting bar is important to ensure the lock works correctly. Do not cut the tail bar shorter than necessary. Put your new Yale digital lock back on your door. Attach the additional handing plate onto the cylinder fixing surface using the self-adhesive pad provided. Fix the plate as per your earlier note, left or right, with the correct direction text facing towards you. Using the template provided, choose the correct screw length according to your door thickness. Take your new night latch mounting plate and position it over the tail bar. Fix the mounting plate in place through the holes using the two screws selected to secure the external keypad. Connect the cable to the battery pack with the three pins of the cable facing upwards. Align the cable into the channel. Make sure the battery pack is square with the door and fix it using the screw according to your door thickness. Fix the wood screw to completely secure the battery pack in place. Place the lock case over the mounting plate making sure that the flat connecting bar is inside the slot in the lock case and push towards the door. Secure the lock case to the mounting plate with the two small screws provided. Close the door and use the lock case as a guide to mark the position of the staple on the door frame and screw the new keep in place. Insert the batteries provided and close cover. To avoid any possibility of being locked out, do not close the door until a pin has been successfully registered to allow access back in. Open the battery cover and press the I button once. Enter a 4 to 12 digit family pin, followed by the hash button. If you wish to program a visitor's pin, enter this now, followed by the hash button. Press the I button. The following sound will confirm that the pins have been successfully programmed. Touch the screen with your palm to wake up the keypad and enter your pin followed by the star button. Turn the knob to gain access. Open your door at the touch of a button. 